friends. So today we're going to be learning about lesson 6.8, creating arrays. So our expectations for today, remember, stay muted unless called on by the teacher. I need your listening ears and your observing eyes. And please do not start working on the worksheet until the end of the lesson. So the materials we'll need for today is your 6.8 worksheet, a paper clip, and a pencil. So go ahead and pause the video if you haven't gotten these materials yet. Then you can unpause once you have all of your materials. All right, friends. So in our previous lesson, we learned how to identify the number of rows, columns, and objects in an array. We will also be using repeated subtraction to get to zero. So that's what we learned in our previous lesson. Today, we're gonna to be learning how to create an array based on the given number of objects and rows or columns. This is important because this will help us create a visual to support us in solving division problems. All right, friends, so now we're gonna start with some examples. So we've been learning how to read an array. Today, we're going to learn how to create an array to help us with our repeated subtraction and division. We already know that an array is a way to organize objects so that it's easier to count. These objects are arranged into rows and columns that are straight and equal. So I have 20 objects that are split into four rows. To start, I'm gonna number my rows. So one, two, three, and four. Now I'm going to place one object in each row until all of my objects have been placed. So I have 20 objects. So I'm going to start placing each object in each row until I get to 20. So I'm going to do circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. So now I put all 20 of my objects in each row. So we started with 20 objects and we split them into four rows. So we have one, two, three, four. How many are in each row? Right, we have five in each row. One, two, three, four, five. So 20 split, 20 split into four rows is five. All right, friends, now let's do another example. You are doing a fantastic job. All right, friends, so now our next example is eight cubes split into two rows. So the first thing I need to do again is I need to number my rows. So we have two rows, so I have row one and row two. Now we have eight cubes in total that need to be split into two rows. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to put one here and continue the pattern going back and forth. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. How many do I have in each row? 
four, right? So eight cubes split into two rows. is four. Amazing job, friends. Let's do one more example. All right, friends, so this one may be a little bit trickier and that's because it says 18 cubes is split into three columns. Remember, columns go vertical, up and down, as in the two examples we did before were rows that go horizontal. So let's, we have three columns. So I'm going to label each column. And I'm putting my numbers at the top because columns go up and down. So it says we have 18 cubes. I need to make sure that I distribute each cube evenly into three columns. So I am going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We're almost there, friends. Sixteen. 17 and 18. So 18 cubes split into three columns is how many squares or cubes do we have in each column? All right. We have one, two, three, four, five, six in each column. So 18 cubes split into three columns is six. Amazing jobs, friend. So we are going to do one example from the homework. You are all doing so great. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. All right, friends. So now you'll need your 6.8 worksheet, a paper clip, and a pencil. So we're going to get our paper clip, put it in the middle. We're going to put our pencil on the dot in between our paper clip. And I'm going to flick it. It landed on circles. So the shape I'm going to do for my array is circles. Now I'm going to go and figure out what my spinner is going to land on for the number of objects. So it has 18 for the number of objects. And then we're going to do how many rows or columns. So I'm going to, so three rows or columns. So it landed three rows and columns. My number of objects, it landed on 18. And I know that I am going to draw circles for my array to create this array. So what's the first thing we do again, friends? Right, we number our columns or rows. So one, two, and three. So the number of items that is split into three columns is 18. So I'm gonna go ahead and count out until I got, get 18. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. So I have created my array. Who can tell me how many circles I have in each column? Right, we have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Great job, friends. So I am going to let you 
work independently. So remember, if you don't have a paper clip and you can't spin, I just want you to choose a different shape so that all of your arrays are different. And you can choose your own number, your own number of columns. But if you have a paper clip or a bobby pin, please use the spinners. All right, friends, if you have any questions, I will be available for math help every day this week from two to three. All right, friends, you did an amazing job. Remember, number your columns and rows when you're splitting them into each other. All right, friends, have a great day.